Hello everyone, welcome. In this video, we'll be talking about how to develop your own model using an existing research. Now, if somebody is interested in conducting research, they can uh, do this through different means. Now, an important thing is that one should conduct a research that is required or that is going to make some contribution in existing research. Now, one easier way to do this is that you do not create your own implicit gaps. You actually look for existing research and look for recommendation for future research. And you use that recommendation to build your own model. This is uh, used normally in research. And uh, this does not mean that if you are using somebody else's recommendation, your paper won't have quality or you won't be able to publish it. That's uh, utterly wrong. So let's say, if I found this paper, Development and Validation of Servant Leadership Scale in Spanish Higher Education, and I liked the paper and I liked the concept, and I am interested in working on servant leadership. So while scrolling through the paper, I see that they have proposed a model, and okay, here is their model. They are looking for the impact of servant leadership on life satisfaction through the mediating role of career satisfaction. Now I'm interested in further developing this model. And while I was reading through this paper in the introduction, I saw there are still a number of different gaps that are prevalent in the area of servant leadership. For instance, if uh, so you want, this, this, this actually helps us understand that one should read the introduction of the paper is trying to obviously build on. So this, this will help you identify whether the gaps identified are latest, up to date and important. So if we look at this paragraph, we see that there are references, very latest references. So yes, the gaps prevalent are latest and leadership or servant leadership is a modern leadership style and that requires significant amount of research. So once I'm sure that this area requires some research, the next thing is I look at the model and I see that, okay, this is a, a simple model which can be built on. You can include multiple mediators or moderators to further enhance this model and build a more complex model. Now, how and where do you find these recommendations for future research that you can build on and conduct your own research. In order to find those, you simply go to the end of this document or any paper. After the discussion, you will find limitations and future research direction in almost all of the papers. If they are not explicitly stated, you can just press Control F and find limitations or limitation, and you will obviously get to the to the space where they have mentioned the limitations of existing research. Now. As mentioned in one of the previous uh, uh, videos as well, we look for adding new variables to existing model. Now, in order to do this, while you read through this section, you come across this line. The focus of present study was on assessing the impact of servant leadership on life satisfaction with mediating role of career satisfaction. This research explored the role of only one mediator. However, other variables such as Self-efficacy, promotion, focus, career commitment, empowerment at work, work-life enrichment, job stress, and well-being also have the ability to explain the relationship between two variables. Now, here the author is providing a complete guideline as to what variables can be included in future research. These are a number of different variables. So you can either choose one, two, three, depending on the time you have to conduct the research and uh, depending on uh, how complex you want your model to be. So let's say we take this uh, self-efficacy and promotion focus as mediators. And we try to build our own model. What we do is, I'm just going to draw a diagram just to make it easier. So we write submit leadership and we want the mediators to be, let's say, 
itself. And the other one to be maybe commitment that was identified. And the last one, obviously the dependent variable has already identified. So we can have lab satisfaction has dependent. And what we have done is we have almost changed the existing paper or existing model to make our own model. And now we have added two more dependent variables. Now there is an important question to answer here. What if someone else reads the same paper and comes up with the same variables and he or she uh, finishes the paper in time to get it published or finishes the thesis in time and gets the paper to publish. Now, you've worked hard on this concept. You've worked really hard to produce a paper, but now nobody is willing to accept your paper because uh, you've used or it is the, the model is the same. So in this particular case, it's strongly recommended you base your gaps on at least two or three papers. You may take one mediator, one moderator from one paper, and you may take one mediator or moderator from another paper based on their recommendation. Now, in this case, let's go back to the paper. And let's see. Okay, this is one paper. Now, let's, if we go to another paper, there is one, uh, this paper, and it's it, and the independent and dependent in this case are the same. And if you go to the limitations and future research directions. Now, for this research, ex, uh, explore two mediators, work engagement and OBSC in servant leadership, life satisfaction relation. However, other variables such as career satisfaction and job satisfaction also have the capacity to explain linkages between the two uh, constructs. But now career satisfaction has already been taken. So what you can do is you can take this other variable, job satisfaction. Or maybe you can find out another paper, another latest paper on this particular area or in this particular area. And you can obviously look into that paper. Now look at this paper. So this is a, a, a systematic literature review done on the similar concept. So it's better, it's always a good idea to find systematic literature review because they have rich future research directions. And let's say if I am interested in finding out, okay, so how servant leadership reduces emotional exhaustion and burnout in the followers. So you can use one of these as uh, mediators. So let's say if I use, let's say if I use self-efficacy and uh, burnout. So now uh, the model is actually based on gaps from multiple papers. So there is very little chance that you will, uh, somebody else will replicate with the same variables. If you want to be further sure, you can add a moderator as well. Let's say if I want to conduct this study in uh, maybe uh, in organization, so I can have a moderator like, uh, say, let's say, uh, let's have a uh, complete as a moderator. It is also in the same paper. So, uh, and even even if it's not in the paper, if even if nobody has recommended task conflict as a variable uh, to mediate or sorry to moderate the relationship. You can obviously find out literature that would establish task conflict as a moderator. So you do not have to focus on explicit gaps in research to propose your model. In this case, we are taking task conflict as a moderator and research is available uh, that shows that, okay, task conflict could either strengthen or weaken the relationship between two variables. So you just have to find that particular literature. And obviously that literature is available. So now this is how you base your research on existing research, existing papers, but the, a few words of caution, try to find out papers that are latest, try to find latest research in the area, and then uh, assess the model and see what gaps they have identified. Similarly, search for similar papers on similar areas, similar topics, uh, and then obviously use their recommendations as well. So try to focus on multiple recommendation to come up with your, with your own model. I hope this video will help uh, in identifying or in building your own model for the future. Thank you very much.